Hello, everyone. My name is Lauren Hurl with Vermont Conservation Voters, and I am really excited to be joined today for this week's Climate Dispatch by Representative Carrie Dolan, who serves on the House Natural Resources Fish and Wildlife Committee, and also Sebi Wu of VPIRG, who's been a strong advocate on the Environmental Justice Bill, which is what we want to talk to you primarily about today. Um, there's lots going on on the Clean Heat Standard and the budget and climate investments, and we'll give you updates on all of those next week. Uh, but we really want to take today to talk about what the environmental justice bill, a reminder, and the latest status of it. So I'm going to turn it over to Representative Dolan for that. Thank you, Lauren, and thanks for having me. It's a pleasure to be here to talk about S-148, which came over to the, from the Senate, and it, and it now is residing in our committee. We actually hope to vote it out of our committee this coming Tuesday. Happy Earth Day, everyone. We're hoping in, uh, that we can meet today's uh, day uh, in particular, and, um, but, but we'll have the Earth Day in our hearts when we vote it out on, on Tuesday. And uh, I want to also couch it in, in um, the perspective of our climate work. And in fact, the Just Transitions Committee of the Climate Council really helped to carry, a, 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 a provided a focus on justice related topics. And this bill, in fact, is, an, is a continuation of that dialogue, that engagement, and uh, to really accomplish what we set out to do in this bill, which is to provide for equity when it comes to environmental benefits, as well as the impacts or what we would refer to as environmental burdens of our activities across the landscape, and to ensure that we have meaningful engagement of the public, of everyone in the public here in Vermont to participate in this process and to feel listened to and to be engaged in this work. So uh, we still are taking some testimony. We have, uh, in a few more minutes, I have to rush back to committee to take some more testimony. But uh, with, we have Sebi here who was fantastic at providing support, as well as we've heard from uh, many, many people across Vermont in recognizing how important this bill is. So what it, does it do? It, it sets in, into statute an environmental justice policy and what that could look like in Vermont. It brings together an interagency committee of all agencies to work together on these issues. It establishes and stands up an advisory council to help provide input from those uh, entities, people across the state that have been historically underserved or left behind in much of our work. And for the first time helps us work together towards providing these important goals of ensuring a healthy and uh, a healthy environment for all. And really it's about um, our health and well-being and how we can ensure health and well-being well into the future for all Vermonters. Thank you so much for that overview and for your important work on this bill. I'm going to turn it over to Sebi to now talk a little bit about the coalition that's been working on this bill. Yeah, absolutely. Happy Earth Day, everybody. I would echo all the uh, words that Representative Dolan said. Um, absolutely critical components of this bill that have been informed by models from other states that have already passed environmental justice laws. So Vermont is late to the game in some ways, but we're really excited to be working on this bill um, and also informed by the environmental justice movement right here in Vermont. And so uh, yesterday I submitted to the House, um, the Vermont House of Representatives, a, a coalition letter in support of several key components that Representative Dolan just laid out that are in S-148 as being considered in the House um, Natural Resources, Fish and Wildlife Committee. It's a coalition made up of youth groups, um, environmental groups, racial justice and social justice groups, different ability organizations, um, rural advocates, anti-poverty organizations, the list goes on. Um, a lot of folks across the state have a real stake in, all of us do here in Vermont, um, and even beyond our borders have, have a stake in us getting this right. And so we're really excited to be supporting this, um, following it. And yes, I hope we, we are able to get it out of House Natural this Tuesday and, and on uh, for a strong vote 
of, of the whole house before the session ends. It's, it's really nice to be here in the state house with you all on Zoom. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, Sebi and I are sitting in the, the Senate chairs in the House chamber and someone just delivered us a little Earth reminder. So for this Earth Day. So on this Earth Day, uh, we always like to end these with a call to action. So what we're asking this week is reach out to your representative or representatives and ask them to support S-148, the environmental justice bill. Uh, it's time that we get this law in place and as Representative Dolan said, make sure that we are, that every Vermonter is able to access environmental benefits and no Vermonter is overly burdened uh, from environmental harms. And so this critical bill, high priority of our organizations. Thank you again, Representative Dolan for your work and Sebi. And we'll be back with you next week, hopefully reporting on some progress on the bill, but take a moment to reach out today. Uh, great Earth Day activity. Contact your representative to support the environmental justice bill. Thank you all, and we'll see you next week. Thank you.